Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial and today we're going to talk about how to create a poster in Canva. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Welcome to a new tutorial video and today I'll be showing you guys how to create a poster here in Canva. So first of all, you're gonna have to log into your Canva so that you'll be able to see the homepage. But first things first, before we head on into our topic, to all of you guys that hasn't used Canva yet, well, Canva is a free-to-use online graphic design tool used to create social media posts, presentations, posters, videos, logos, and more. And as we navigate our mouse into Design Spotlight, you can see this bold text. These are the features that you can make here in Canva. First one, we have the visual document. Then we have photos and videos. Then we have the print. And lastly is the marketing. And to be exact, this is where the posters are belong to. Since today's topic is making a poster, this is the perfect platform to make one. And now what I want you to do is on the search bar, you're gonna type in poster. And as you can see, we have templates and projects here. So once you enter poster, you'll be seeing a lot of poster templates here in Canva. First one, we have the blank poster. And as we scroll down, we have a lot of options here to choose from. There are a lot of designs here to jump your poster making here in Canva. Like for example, if you want to make a Merry Christmas poster, you just click the template and you will be routed into the editor of Canva shortly. You can even describe the poster that you are making into the search bar. Like for example, if you add hiring, then you will have all the templates about hiring that are accessible for you for free. But you have to take note, these ones with the crown icon, these are available only for upgraded plan here in Canva. And for... Ch and... And for today's tutorial, let's try to create a poster from scratch. So why don't we go back into the poster template and click this create a blank poster option. And once you do that, you will be directed shortly into the editor of Canva. Once you're here, as you can see on the left side panel of the screen, we have here the features that we can use to maximize our poster. First one is we have the elements where we'll get our lines, shapes, graphics, stickers, and etc. Then we have the text, and text is very important in creating a poster so we'll be using this feature a lot in this tutorial. Then we have the uploads where we can upload images, videos, and audios. Then we have the draw, projects, and apps. Also we have here the brand but you should not be worried about this one because this is only accessible if you have an upgrade to a premium plan here in Canva. So let's get started and we can start on the elements here so on the background color you can click on this icon right here to change the background color of your poster. And I'm looking for something red, so I'm gonna select this one right here for the background color of my poster. And then once we have set this up, what I'm gonna do next is go back to elements and add a shape to this poster. So under shapes, you can click the see all option to have more available shapes that you can use. And you can scroll down and look for more shapes. If you can find it here, you can go back to the search bar and type in the specific shape that you are looking for. Like for example, if we type in oval shapes, you will have oval shapes that you can choose from. And under graphics, we can have a better graphic shapes choices here. And once again, you're gonna have to take note that the ones with the crown icon are only accessible for a graded plan only. So let's stick with a free one and try this one. So once you click it, it will be added directly into the poster. And you can just hold the circle button to make the shape bigger. And I want the shape to cover like 35% of my poster, so what I'm gonna do is I will make it big enough to cover the top part of the poster. Once you're set up, on this top panel, this is where you can edit the shape. Like for example, if you want to change the background color, you can click on this option right here and you will have the colors that you can use to change it. You can change it to gray, black, or blue that will depend on you, but for this poster, let's stick with a default color of this shape. Once you are all set from here, what we're gonna do now is to add text to our poster. We just click the text option, and what I'm going to add first is the heading, so we click this option. Let me remove the word first and change it to free snacks, and then you can just simply drag the text to the top part of your screen. And once again on this top panel, this is where we can edit the text. The first option we have is we can change the font style of our text. You have a lot of options from here that you can choose from. Then next is we can decrease or increase the size of the text. Then we have the text color where we can change the color of the text. Just simply click the color that you want and it will change the color of your text shortly. And here on the spacing, this is so important because this is where you can decrease or increase the gap of your text. 
and I think this text needs a little decreasing on its line spacing so we can decrease a little bit to make it more compressed. Once you do that, here on this button right here, this is how you tilt your text on your desired position. Let's try to tilt it a little bit on the left so that it will, mo it will look more lively that way. And now we can go back to elements and add an icon or sticker into this poster. Let's try to add a megaphone and click the see all option and look for a free element that we can use. We have a lot of choices here. And why don't we try this one because it blends it to the color of our poster. Simply click the element and it will be added shortly into the poster. Let me just drag it to the bottom right corner and decrease the size of it so that we can still add some information on the free spaces of our poster. And now that we are done setting this sticker, why don't we go back to the text and add a subheading into the poster. Let's try to add more information about a poster like Christmas season. That's why we're having free snacks. Then once again, just use the top panel to edit this text. Next is we add a little bit of body text and put it on the space here. And once again, add more information about the poster. And as you can see, we have added more information to the text. Let's customize this, this one using the tab panel. And look, this is what we got. As you look into our poster now, it looks more professional and just so easy ways. Why don't we make it more lively by adding some decorations into the poster? Why don't we go back to the elements and try to add a sparkle effect into the poster? Then we can choose from graphics. This right here should be perfect for a poster and tap the element and it will be added to the poster. And I want this at the top portion and you can do that by simply dragging it to the position that you want. Let's try to add three of this and spread it and spread it on the top part of the poster. And now this is what we've got. It looks way more better now and very catchy. And then the last thing to add here is the branding. But since we're not upgraded to premium plan, here's what you can do to have a branding here in your poster. Go back to your text and add a subheading. And by doing this, you can put your website name or company name into your poster. You can probably position it on the bottom part and just make it small but noticeable at the same time. Like this, you can do a different text color, that way people will notice it easily and just by doing that, you can have a branding into your poster for free. And now this is the final product that we've got from today's tutorial and I know that you can do way better than this if you figure things out here in the editor of Canva. You can be creative as you want and maximize all the details on creating your poster. And that's basically it for today's video. I hope this tutorial helped somehow and made a difference. And if you have any suggestions or ideas, just comment down below. And please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys on my next tutorial video. Bye bye!